And welcome back, everyone, to our final game of the night. Unfortunately, it will not be uh, the advertised game of uh, Clarkson taking on... Oh, excuse me, once again. Won't be the uh, original game of Clarkson Community taking on Willerton Senior, or the SoCars team. Uh, unfortunately, one of the teams haven't turned up, so uh, we'll be doing uh, Colby Catholic College, their first team taking on... Uh, Another Wilton team, this time the uh, YouTubers instead. So, I'm Chris, that's Kex, and well, unfortunate set of circumstances, but at least we have one more game to end off the night. Yeah, and it is actually an important game here because uh, Colby currently is uh, down to Willerton with uh, two wins and three losses, where Willerton has the opposite three wins, two losses. So this could uh, this could actually put Colby up in the rankings a bit here, a win, so it is an important match for them. It is indeed so. So they do need to try and get this win if they can. But we'll find out if they can soon enough as the players, they're just waiting to be let on to the field and uh, hopefully we should be good to go. Any tick of the clock. Here they come onto field now and... Uh... Like I said, Colby has a lot uh, riding on this game, so I'm expecting a big push out of them. However, um, uh, two players on field, one either side, are both facing some ping issues back and forth here. Mortal Story on the blue side of Colby and uh, Miraculous Media, which I believe two weeks ago was facing the same kind of issues. Uh, there, I saw just earlier as we were preparing for this hit, Ooh. about 300 ping, but... It looks like Colby is going to be the first one to actually make advantage of one of those players as Immortal Story sets up for X Noah and takes the first goal. Yeah, he will pick up the first goal. Uh, just well set up there. So I'm just thinking to tap it in, and he did so quite nicely. So opening goal over to Colby. But we know the YouTubers can uh, respond in kind. So let's see what they can do here as. Exile is going for a second attempt, and well, the defenses there for Willerton, they were just scattered, and that just opened it up perfectly for Noah, so they pick up yet another goal here, uh, Colby. Mm. And a good chase by X Noah as well, um, uh, did well to just get on top of that and make sure that even if there were defense, that he had a bit of a read on that and a better chance at scoring. Um, no defense did come up for it, but... Put down well under that crossbar anyway as Gazzo now tries to set up for the orange side for the first time isn't able to do so Lucid gets a small touch but it is going to go to Miraculous's way as it goes over Immortal another setup here X Noah can't make much of that with that positioning though right behind his teammate a little bit of uh, rotational mistakes on both sides so far uh, double or even triple commit there in defense by the orange side as Willerton Struggles to get this out of the blue side. Colby continues to advance his attack. Yeah, they continue to pressure here, but eventually that pressure will eventually relieve as the ball heads into the midfield. Colby now looking for a bit of attack. As X now, well, he hasn't been touched yet. This could be an easy tap, but the ball just gets away from here. Immortal Story can't follow through as well. The ball just. Well, just not really giving him a good angle to play with there, and might just open it up here for Willerton. But they just can't get on target here. Gazalor just sets up in the center, gets a nice second touch here. Will allow the semis to rotate back round, but they're all back in defense here, so a little bit of attack will be stopped for the moment here. But once again, they're looking for something off the backboard here. Lucid Flicks just popped it up there, but no one to follow through. Gazalor now comes through yet again. One, two for himself. Can he get it through? Oh. Yes, he can. And there's the first response, Walton. Nicely done by Gazzo. And a great response at that. Great little play. One man, Gazzo, pops it up, takes the pass himself, and gets an amazing angle over the defense and into net, uh, evening this game out to an only one goal lead by Kobe. Now they are going to have to watch that lead carefully. They are in here. Oh, especially with this going for the play off the kickoff, and he's got to get it. Well done there from him. As we go to the replay here, he immediately reads the play. Second man there, so he just starts to goes up. He just controls it down, gets our final touch off X Noah to seal the deal, and just like that, the equalizer comes through quickly. That two-goal lead for Colby has been diminished.
And it looked like maybe he was even trying to set up a, a good backboard there. Didn't uh, contact the backboard, but he was able to chase that down again, that um, downward angle under the crossbar to secure it as well. And um, yeah, an excellent goal to even this game up. Now X Nala just barely Ooh. able to get a touch, but it's not enough. It'll just barely trickle into goal, and Gazzo is going to get the credit for it. Yeah, he picks it up, but that is very unfortunate. The ex Noah, he thought he did enough to save at the very least, but it, his card is hitting the turf just, just, uh, what's the word? Yeah, it just took the nose away and, yeah, just really stopped any hope he had of saving that ball uh, convincingly enough. So, fortunate way to give a lead over to your opponents, but we know what Colby can do. They can respond, so... It's not over for him just yet here at the halfway point of game number one. But Gazalor setting it up for Miraculous. Miraculous just goes, goes down a little too early there. But he sets up for Gazzo once again. He starts to go wide and high. Leaves it to the Lucid Flicks. Where's Miraculous? Oh my oh. god! Lucid! That is a touch and a half! Even while bumped! Look at the replay here, Gax. He had no right of getting that goal, but he's done it! That is unbelievable! He's it seems at least mostly intentional. I mean, he kept his nose up really high, almost was looking for what looked like a pogo there as his back touched the ground, bounces up just a tiny bit and finds the angle off of that bounce to get that into net. That's an incredible goal. Gazzo's gonna put another one in and suddenly this match has flipped on its head. Kobe no longer in the lead are now struggling. Three goals behind. Yeah, it's not looking good for Colby at the moment here. YouTubers really starting to put the foot down and, uh, well, their opponents can't do anything about it at the moment here. So, still have opportunity to come back in the series. Second game might just be their path back. But for now, yeah, the YouTubers have just turned it up to 11. A few gr great touches and a few great plays. Maybe another goal might have just sealed the deal there, but the gap stays at three for the moment. And more so, though, has a bit of a break now, but Gazalor. Pitches it away from him there, actually sends it to the backboard, which is very good here. Mortal, sorry, goes for a bit of a delayed line, does work out, just stops Miraculous, getting that elusive six goal. Elusive flicks, will get bumped off by an opponent, but this could actually just work out. He actually somehow gets bumped by his teammate to steal the goal away from Gazolaw, and nothing that's going to be game one done there quite nicely for YouTubers. I believe Gazzo actually bumped him yeah. into the demo as well. Um, it's yeah. it, Gazzo bumped him into both the demo to set the goal up, then set the goal up for himself and bumped Lucid back into the ball a second time to take it. It's um, it quite like that sometimes. Lucid yeah, that's just... nearly as Gazzo sets it up again. Lucid. Great little half flip there, gets under it and gets it over the defense one more time. Lucid is all over the defense right now. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're just really forcing him into scatter plays and, uh, well, it's not working for him at all at the moment. Yeah, won't get to Brazil, unfortunately, as obviously Colby got that second goal, which is obviously a great change to everyone. But yeah, for YouTubers, this is some pretty dominant stuff here. Remember, they're Currently, all three teams or in the top three are all from Williton. They are currently at the bottom of those teams here. So, there's a lot of them to play for here just to try and maybe get the uh, momentum over some of their fellow schoolmates here. Just to oh. try and beat them out as, oh, very unfortunate for Esso not to get the goal. Probably should have gone in, but uh, unfortunately, it's just not working out for Colby today as YouTubers. Bro, Willerton, looks like they will pick up this first game here and, well, they're absolutely flying at the moment. They might be looking to do the same in the second. And this is uh, early enough in this series for them to be able to have, at some point here, uh, really put into play what I was talking about in the last series, which is just going, okay, we've lost this one, let's put some confidence into ourselves and chase this ball down with some mechanics maybe we wouldn't normally use. And uh, it doesn't look like they've been able to do that. They haven't been able to get past that um, block of 
knowing that they've been beaten here and and throw themselves at those kind of plays. And it could well affect them uh, a lot going into the second game here as well. With three seconds left, it's a guaranteed thing that uh, Kobe, is, Kobe is not going to be able to win this one. Yeah, they have lost the, the 8 to 2 in the first game. They will have a chance to obviously come back in the second, but the way the uh, boys from Willerton just turned it on in the middle part of that game doesn't really, unfortunately, seem likely for Colby here to for them to come back. I mean, they are playing well enough, but I feel like this might just be a class difference here, especially from tournament winners. Yeah, and um, you have to say that, I, I mean, even for tournament winners, um, uh, Wilton High School YouTubers are coming up as such a massively uh, well put together um, roster. I mean, they're, they're, obviously they have to come from the same school, so they, they have a small pool to choose from, but these players are working together incredibly well. There's been some amazing passes out here. Indeed, I mean, tell you what, that pool is still pretty good, though, if they've got uh, all three top three teams from that same high school, so mm -hmm. we're looking to try and uh, keep that going here as we get to game number two. It's just going to be a nice quiet start here for both sides. Miraculous sends it on to the backboard early on, but no teammates to follow through just yet. But we could see an early goal coming from Colby here, maybe to try and get some sort of retribution from game one. Mortal is setting it up for Noah. Noah gets the back tap, but can't find it. Uh, Esso, so Wolf's just going to float back into their own half here. Noah and Immortal. They have to say they won't be able to. Gazalor finds the gap, sends it in, and gets the opener. Yeah, and that's uh, not how Colby wanted to lose the first goal here. They really, really had to be quick on the ball to give themselves a little confidence into this second match if they wanted a chance. They've let Welton take the first goal, and I think that could be a death sentence for them if they can't perk up during this. They clearly have the ability to work together as a team, but once you get into that kind of mindset, you can lose focus. What a read! Lucid Flicks just ends up right in front of the ball, smashes that one home after a brilliant save from Xnoa. Once again, just holding the ball through, and he got that touch pretty much at the same point where, or maybe a few meters in from the same point where he got that near pogo goal earlier as well so it's really liking the bottom left corner there uh lucid flicks and well he's got a fair few goals from it there so two oh now the scores two youtubers but yeah i feel like colby might just be a bit out class here at the moment they're playing well but as we do tend to say here at meta sometimes you get the mismatches and well gazo well he nearly mismatched his own net there but he's able to just only Put an edge in and take it back out. Bit of a miss there by Immortal. Might let Flix set something else up here, but Esso now under it does get beaten out, but no threat just yet. Maybe now, though, as Flix sets that up, a great clear out to safety by Noah. Now, Immortal is going to try and get on this again. A lot of misses, making this a very awkward situation. Hard to read as everything goes awry for both sides for a moment. Gazo can't find the shot. Flix will get onto this, but Immortal Story can 50 it over him. Flix is going to send it back to his own half. Smart decision here, trying to get back control, but Noah beats him to it. Now, a midfield passing play from him. Go. Immortal will be able to get onto it, and X Noah will receive the assist. Yeah, well, they just forced YouTubers into a chaotic play there. Lucid couldn't flip up with Esso pretty much on top of him, blocking any chance he had of saving it. And that just opened it up for Immortal to tap it on through. So they were able to really force the defenses from YouTubers to get scattered out here. And well, they've been able to get at least one retribution goal on the board here, but let's see what they can do in response. Lucid Flick nearly getting yet another ridiculous redirect, but it's unable to finish it off this time around. Ball just goes straight in front of the net and they're gonna have to go back into the fence. I have to say though, you mentioned earlier the tournament winner titles for Lucid Gazo and Miraculous, but um, 
they're all plat titles, and I've got to say that Lucid's ability to get to the ball no matter what the situation... Doesn't seem flat. It doesn't seem plat, no. I mean, we haven't seen any insanely good mechanics out of him or anything that would suggest that he's massively high, but his rotations are good, and uh, yeah, his ability to get to the ball no matter what is far beyond what I would have assumed was a plat. Yeah, I mean, even like the higher echelons of the plat, you wouldn't be expecting stuff like this, so... uh Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting, but, uh, well, I suppose, still tournament winners, so it still works out for him, I suppose. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe just solo queue things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just get into solo queue, you just you get the bad teammates, and then as soon as you get into here, you get teammates you can, you can actually trust, and everything turns on his head. But anyhow, things that have turned on his head is he has score lines comparative to game one. He only a one goal game with a minute 45 remaining here. YouTubers haven't really been able to threaten their opponents for run as much as they did in the first game and that's just allowing Colby a chance of sniff of a possible comeback and maybe even a chance to redeem in game number three but for now at the very least they have to get out of this continual defense they found themselves in the past 20 seconds and this could come oh. through Noah oh what the flick that is a massive win and that will allow the equalizer there for Colby Willerton They've lost their lead now, and they have to respond. Let's call it a fake, because it worked as one. Lucid thought he had that from a squishy save, actually, there, but isn't able to find it. Again, squishy save. Don't tell me you're a plat. <laughs> and yeah. uh, misses it by millimeters, allows it in, and, yeah, you've got to say, Colby doing so much better than the first game here. Not only have they been able to hold Willerton at bay, they now have a chance at winning this, and even scoreline now as it comes close to their goal line again a big clear out from immortal it'll go down field off of lucid's car opportunities again immortal oh. finds the shot and colby goes up by one this is a great chance to send this to a third game from colby yeah we saw this in the opening minute or so from game one but they just fell away after it they found that form yet again and now they're really punishing Lulleton here and the youtubers they're just struggling to find any sort of comeback at the moment here. We've got another 50 seconds to do it, but Immortal Story, oh, if that went in, that probably could have been Curtin for game number three, but still one more chance for Wilson to come back and to possibly sneak away what could be a beautiful victory here for Colby. As time continues to tick on down here, 30 seconds remaining, they're just slowly trying to find a setup here, so... Nice slight touch there for Noah to clear it out of the attack. Gazzo needs to now rally to get it out of the midfield. Ball just goes high into the sky, but Miraculous will be there. Possibly set it up a waterfall play. One touch. He can't find the second, but Gazzo will. He sends it high as well. It's all up to Lucid. He sends it wide. Three chances, all of them missing the net. And that could just mean game three should be upon us here. Unless we see some last minute shenanigans from Willerton, but I don't think we're going to get it. Ball hits the ground and Colby has fired back in game two to bring us into a decider game three. Yeah, brilliant stuff out of Colby, not only to conquer their opponents in this game, but to conquer themselves. I mean, it's really hard to get out of your own head when you get beaten that badly in game one. They've come back so well, fired a shot over the bow of Willerton now, and the YouTubers have to be careful as, uh, as they are now under threat of losing this after such a dominant game one. Indeed, they have to be on their best now to try and grab this series victory because remember, they do have that one game advantage over Colby in the standing. So, you know, this is going to be, this is a crucial game as well for, uh, for Willerton as they want to try and keep that top three all to their respective team selves. So, let's see if they can do it in this decider, we're well, underway. Lucifer doesn't get the first touch, but it will be X Noah. He just puts it into the corner, but Miraculous will come through just to try and look to carry it out. Miraculous now. Good clear out there as Esso and Immortal both get the wrong side of the ball for a moment, but it will get actually put back in front of net by Immortal, almost taking the first goal out for Kobe as well, as Colby struggles to make the shot happen now Gazzo is the one with the opportunity as he tries to find that center but 
Just a little slow on that backboard to make that happen, and with no boost, it will go out to the corner safely. Miraculous, oh, though! Oh. A bang of a shot goes just under the crossbar and will take the first goal for Will. An important goal as well. So and Immortal just getting caught up in between that pinch. It just gives the ball to Miraculous, who only had one-on-one -on -one to deal with. Got the shot on target, got it just underneath the crossbar. And that was good enough to get the opener here in this decider, but doesn't mean they've won it just yet. It does feel like whoever scored first have, you know, gone on to lost the game. So this could be a bit of a curse in a blessing disguise. So let's see what happens for him here as Miraculous looks for another goal, but he will lose the ball to Esso. Esso now trying to get that out, actually beaten out by more than one player there. Miraculous nearly sets it up, gets the shot though, and that'll be 2-0 up. We're looking at a very similar situation as the second game now. Colby down by two, we'll have to recover this now, and if they can do it the same way they did the first game, it's a big ask, but they can still win this. However, right now they are in deficit by two. Well, make that one there, the perfect kickoff for Noah. Exxon just gets the perfect line out here and look at the replay. Well, Miraculous goes straight for boost. Gazza doesn't even get a single touch to it. Lucid doesn't expect and well, for a Miraculous Media, he's caught out getting boost as he should be doing off a kickoff and well, that has just meant an open goal and that deficit brought back down to one here. So, unfortunate stuff there for YouTubers as they now need to try and regain that two goal advantage. If they can, put them back in a nice enough spot to probably to possibly uh, deny the comeback for Colby. But they have to find the next goal. Can they do it? They struggled in game two to break past two. Will it be the same here in game number three? Yeah, and uh, such a big emphasis on X Noah here as well. He did so, so well uh, all over the field last game to really bring it back. and. He's on it again now, trying to get under it and get it past Lucid. He is able to now. Has to beat Miraculous, though. It's actually not Miraculous. It's Gazzo that gets the clear out to the corner. Immortal gets stuck in a bad position and opts to go back as Esso tries to gain control back. It'll get flicked over by Flix. Uh, Exnoa in that corner as they really need to push this out fast here and try and fire back. Colby still down by one. We're about to hit halfway in this match, but still very back and forth and not a lot in this with only one goal between them. Yeah, especially with two and a half minutes remaining on the clock here. This could still go either way as Booster Flicks gets bumped off by X Noah. Immortal now comes to try and take it away. We'll be able to bring it into the attacking third, at the very least. Centers up the ball. Esso's there, but Gazzo Quickly clears it out of danger. And now he's going to follow it up for a center play here. Miraculous just can't find a straight line there. Puts the ball into the corner. Lucid Flicks now comes up. Nice little light touch there. But X now was expecting it. But follow through from Lucid Flicks will just be a little too wide for him. And there, that would have been an amazing goal if he was able to find it on yet another second chance. But now, Immortal Sorry looking to try and open up a counter attack. Quickly stopped there by Lucid Flicks, but the ball still heading towards the center. Miraculous slice steal, but Noah picks it up. Back in the defensive third. Esso brings it to Gazzo, but Gazzo actually doesn't get the touch to it there. Means the ball still remains in that right-hand corner for the moment. Lucid Flicks and Miraculous Media eventually bring, brings it off the wall, but still their opponents, seems like they're dictating this game just a little bit too much for their opposition's likeling. They're trying their best to recover, but they just seem to, they can't get through. And well, as soon as I say that, the cuts because I'm through. Gazalor scores and brings back up the two goal lead. And I hate to say this, but um, I don't know if this goal was to the attest, uh, to the um, positive side of Williton as much as it was to the negative stuff coming out of Colby just then. I saw a lot of double commits and uh, miss, uh, miss positioning there. Players right on top of each other and. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure on them. They'd been under attack for a while. They couldn't clear it out, out of that corner, but you have to maintain that rotation and make sure that you get under that. I mean, it sounds harsh. Colby has been doing really well, but that's going to cost them this game if they can't get back onto this in the next minute now for two goals. Indeed, and Miraculous looking to try and end it now. He gets the goal through. That three goal gap 
might just be enough to possibly put this game to bed here. He just got gifted a perfect opportunity just after the kickoff. No one at home poss able to save it. And well, that could just be it here for Colby. They put up a nice fight, but can they find three goals in under a minute? Yeah, I doubt it. It's, it's a big, big ask to find that many goals in that amount of time. And uh, time keeps ticking down as well as Lucid gets control once again. And Lucid with control here is very dangerous. X Noah gonna back up and grab some boost here. Wait, waiting patiently, a good choice there, but a better pass and plan by the Willerton High School boys as they push this forward again now. X Noah pushes this center, follows it up well, but Ooh. not able to get it. 20 seconds ticking down, and that seems to be the nail in the coffin that that attempt has not gone to plan. Unfortunate as it was well set up, but Miraculous Media just going to control this and run down the clock. 10 seconds left as the ball just slows down and continues to on field. Clock going down to zero seconds now guarantees that Willerton will be our victors. However, they aren't going to let it drop just yet. Trying to take one home, won't be able to do so as Colby, the underdogs, cannot make up the difference and Willerton take the victory. And they played that one very, very well, Colby. But unfortunately, just those few little mistakes heading in to the final few moments or final few minutes just cost them at the end. And well, that is just unfortunate for them. They put up a good fight, but alas, they fall to the YouTubers from Willerton, who now go, I believe, to 4-2. and two. Yeah, um, great game out of uh, particularly X now, I have to say. Um, a very good team player there and uh, positioning extremely well. I could t tell that there were definitely some mechanics that X now wanted to get out there that he wasn't able to against the, uh, I almost want to say powerhouse there of Willerton as well. But um, it is, I think, the combination of particularly um, Miraculous Media and Lucid Flicks there. Uh, they're passing up field maintains so much control on pitch that it allowed Miraculous and Gazzo to both get opportunities on net and um, I really really have to give it to the combination of that team for for the possession that they had on field uh, as a testament to why they won that. Indeed and well I think I I think I know where we're going to go with our MVP it has to be Lucid Flicks I mean he did play very well in all three games and well yeah I think it's going to be a well deserved MVP for him yeah, uh, Lucid did so, so well, just getting onto that constantly. And, um, uh, you know, I mean, despite Colby putting up a really good defense and being quite solid, he was just everywhere. And, and no matter where they tried to clear it to, he seemed to be a pest. And uh, he just got in their faces, got on that ball. And even when it was only small, uh, less mechanical touches, every touch he made was so crucial to the goals that they got. Indeed, and well, with that, Lucid will be our final MVP of the day, and that is where we're going to end coverage for another week of Meta HSC Rocket League. I've been Chris, that's been Gex. Make sure you come back next Thursday at 5 p.m. ASC or 3 p.m. AWST for the seventh week of action here from Meta. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.